are you guys we are doing competitive programming and i welcome you all in my youtube channel coding by fun and let's start so today we have to solve this relative sorting so what we have to do i am explaining with an example and the example is we are taking two test cases here and the two arrays of size 11 and 4 the first these are the array elements of size 11 and this is second array of size 4 so what we have to do is according to the second arrays element that is the we have to sort the first array that is if the first element is 2 then we have to print all the frequencies of 2 from the first array so initially here 2 is having two frequencies this one two and this again uh, again second two so in output there will be two twos right then in second array there is one so we have to print the all the frequencies of one from the first array so we have printed the one again and later on same for the eight and here two eights are there so we have printed it and then three right and we have printed three after all the elements we fetch from the second array the remaining array we from the first array we have to print that in shorted order that is five six seven nine these are the remaining elements five six seven and nine which are not in second array but we have to print that after fetching the second array's element and in shorted order this is five six seven nine Similarly, we have another example, uh, we have two arrays of size 8 and 4, right, these 8 elements and again 4 elements. So, we have to short uh, according to the uh, array elements of second array, that is the 2 in the first position. So, we have to print all the frequencies of 2 from the first array, that is double 2. Then 6, we have to print all the frequencies of 6, right, double 6. Then 4, single 4 here, so only one 4. Then 5. So single 5 here, so we have printed 5 and later on all the remaining uh, elements from the array 1, we have to print that elements in sorted order. So only 7 and 8 are remaining, so we have printed in sorted order. So this is what we have to complete in this uh, question. So first of all, I am taking the input. That is what we have to, to tag is the T for the test cases. So in T, C in T, right? and then we have to make a while loop for this so we can complete all the test cases in this code and now we have to take this two array size that is n comma m and also taking from the users right now uh, defining the array of size n and similarly array b of size m right now for counting the frequency we also have to make a map of key of type int and also value of type int and then the map name is k right now first of all i should take input for the arrays so i equals to 0 to i less than n i plus plus this is for the array one first array and similarly i am copying this we all are good in copy paste so <laughs> let's complete it yeah and just change the size of this and also the name of array right so we took the arrays from users now we have to count the frequencies in a map so for the first array right so 0 to n i plus plus and counting the frequencies a of i plus plus right this is what we have to do initially now what we have to do we have to make a for loop for checking the second array element in the in this map so first of all i have to iterate it from 0 to m and inside this I will check if there is any like k dot we will find that element 
b of i in up to the end that is not equals to k dot end we are finding this b of i in the in the k map from starting to ending and if we found such an such an element then what we simply do we will just make a while loop for the b of i dot second and it's not b of i second it's the position of that in the map so k dot find b of i position first then it's second so it's second minus minus we are reducing the frequency each time and then we are printing it that is c out the b of i means every time we are reducing its frequency and printing that element so once again i am explaining this for loop what we did in this for loop so there is no use of these brackets because only the single statements uh, statements we are uh, writing in each loop right so no need of this so it will be easy to understand you can just remove this because there is only single uh, single line after each loop so just remove it now i am explaining this uh, all again so we are making for uh, this for loop for traversing the second array and we are finding every element of the second array in k in the k map and we are searching it from starting till ending like if there is any such element present inside the k then what we will do we are taking the position of that element b of i the b of i element which is present in k map we are taking the uh, or we are holding that position and its second its second means its frequency count right so we are reducing its frequency count every time and we are printing that element right so this is what we have uh, done this thing the first of all we are searching for the two in this uh, in the in the map this is not a map it's first error in the map we are searching for two and whatever its frequency we are reducing each time its frequency and we are printing that b of i so here two is uh, frequency of two is two so we are printing it uh, two times the element two right similarly for the other elements of second array now what we have to do now we should make these elements that we have already printed zero that is what i am doing seat now i am making all the b of i uh, b of i uh, b of i frequency in k map zero because we have already printed it right so no need to print it again otherwise i am sure uh, sorting the first array now so that whatever i will print will be in sorted order now again i will check the hash map that is map k from zero to end and if k of a of i is present there then i will simply see out a of i and one space right so i think we have completed it uh, and let's end the line also so we are ending the line that is see out and end right so let's compile it first then we will submit it you are checking the errors so we got an error yes here m i used to write m always for the map but here we make a variable name k for the map so let's compile it again sorry we don't we don't want to see the hints let's cut it first compile it so finally we got the correct outputs yes you can check check the outputs now it's time to submit it i 
इट्स मे टेक समाइम बिकॉज ऑफ द नेटवर्क इशू सो गाइज ये अवर कॉड इज एक्सेप्टेड एंड ऑल द टेस्ट केस इज पास सो गाइज इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो यू कैन शेयर एंड लाइक इट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर वीडियोज लाइक दिस और ऑन वेरियस क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल्सो द गुड क्वेश्चन आर देयर फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग you can subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you will be notified by my new videos and thank you bye bye see you in next video